Hey guys, how are you? So I'm back with another video and in this video we are going to do the review of the bootleggers ROM that I've installed today and I've been using it for quite a few time and let's check out the features that it provides. So the first thing after the boot up is that this launcher. So it comes with pixel launcher that is the trend now. So it comes with the updated pixel launcher and you also get the google feed by swiping to the left so that's nothing new about it and it is based on latest android let's check out the android version 8.1.0 so there is that and i'm using redmi note 4 now this rom has basically tons of setting and customization that it provides i would compare this rom next to resurrection remix as this provides tons of customization now for starters let's start with the settings all right so let's first jump into the display so after going into display you get this advanced option in which you get the ui style so basically there are these four ui that are present in each and every rom that is wallpaper based light dark or black but this provides different another three uis that is shizu dream ui night ui and illusion so as you can see i'm using the illusion ui so this is something different that this rom provides and then there is this accent colors it gives so many varieties that you can choose unlike another roms which provide only five to six options to choose so there is that so i like this so you can see well this looks pretty cool i'm gonna keep it so now let's jump to another uh, customization now let's check the font yes did you not notice the font it is pretty slim and very nice looking font so i don't have any complaint to the font you can change the oh did you see the gradient see no this is something very little change but it's nice to have that little gradient all right and this is the dpi we have nothing to do with that display size all right this is something that each and every rom provide <coughs> Now let's check out the ambient display, yes it provides always on display so there is that. Now let's check it out, display and if you double tap, ah, so I am using face unlock and the face unlock on this works pretty fine, I, I would say I, do, I did not have any complaint about the face unlock. Now they also provide the auto face unlock uh, settings within the customization we will check this uh, check that out later and that was all about the display uh, and there is double take to wake awake so nothing new and they give some nice sounds or ringtones that you can use i would leave that for you to check it out and this ui i mean i have to tell this ui looks something different and something very nice so if you take my advice i think you should try this rom as it looks different from each and every rom that is currently available so now let's jump into the customization section so the first thing is status bar so now they give ui icons so if you want to enable or disable that is your choice now they also give scoot layers logo so if you want you can keep that or just hide it it doesn't matter and let's check the advanced option of clock and time so there is alignment clock seconds am pm date style is normal okay nothing new and battery icon so there is basically six options to choose from and as per your preference you can choose the battery icon now there is nothing new in the status bar so all same now let's check out quick settings so in quick settings you get all the ui and tweaks option that you can change gestures that are you can check that out 
I mean this has so many customization that it would take nearly one hour to check each and every customization. I mean this ROM would probably beat Resurrection Remix. I mean honestly, look at the UI and customization and the look and feel of the ROM. I mean it is just incredible. Navigation features, alright, lock screen, now there are some tweaks on the lock screen, you can hide or show the clock, lock screen gestures are available, ambient display settings are available, auto face unlock as we talked about earlier, so that's something nice. Recent apps, so you get the Android Go style, grid size, so let's check this Android Go style. And so, so this is Android Go style. So each and every app will be in a grid form. So if you want, you can keep that or just keep the stock. It doesn't matter. So now let's talk about notifications. So you have the option to change the light and heads up notification and ticker. So nothing new over there power menu advance and all the options animations you get all the you get all the android p animations and you can change the animation if you want there is the option for android p animation so you can enable that something nice then they provide us gestures so carbon gesture all right so there are carbon gestures that you can use for swiping left to go back and everything. So there is three finger gesture for a screenshot. Now that is pretty much normal. Every ROM provides that so there's nothing new in that. And there is some miscellaneous vibrate on connect, vibrate on call waiting and all these things. So this was pretty much the basic customization that this ROM would provide. and. I think you should probably check this out and it is by far the best ROM I have ever checked out and they provides you this wallpaper app Shizu wallpapers so there are some quite interesting wallpapers that you can download and keep so there is that so this is a bonus I guess and that's pretty much it about the ROM I would say and if you take my opinion, I think you should try this ROM because it looks quite incredible. So just install it and see if you like it then keep it otherwise just restore back to your original ROM and probably take a backup first so there is if there is anything to go down south you can always restore back to the original ROM you have. So. The installation is pretty much simple and uh, there is nothing out of the box to do about that. So just install the ROM and have fun. So this was it. Have a nice day guys.